Hello, welcome to Big Orbit Games unboxing video for the new Weishwartz set, the Idolmaster Cinderella Girls. My name is Simon, and we're going through the video today. So what I'm going to do, open this up, <coughs> have a little cough, sorry. What I'm going to do is open this up and just go through all 20 boosters. Now I'm not going to spend a huge amount of time going through every single card because I'm not going to proclaim that I'm some kind of Weishwartz master. Uh, I do play the game, I do enjoy it, but I'm certainly no expert for it. So let's take those out. So we've got all 20 of our boosters there. So let's, well, start from the top, shall we? I think it's interesting this set as well. Um, huh, right from the top. So the set, as far as I'm aware, only has one, I think, green card, which is by this one. Uh, by the looks of it, it's this one. Um, otherwise, it all focuses on the other three colours red, blue, and yellow. So this is, um, oh by the way, if I mispronounce names horribly, if I butcher any of them, I do apologise in advance, I'm terrible at pronouncing names. This is a uh, Chihihiro Senkawa. So level 0, cost 0, 1500 power. Two abilities, when your other music character is placed on stage from your hand, and turn of turn it gets plus 500 power and the drink attribute. And then you can pay to and rest this card to draw a card. So that's interesting, so we'll see what this relates to, uh, hopefully later in another booster. And then paying to and resting the card's draw card, that's quite a nice touch, being able to draw is always useful. We have Mismatch Pair, which is a 3 cost level 2 backup. Uh, if the number of red characters and blue characters you have is 2 or more for each colour, choose one of your opponent's characters and rest it, so it shuts down your opponent, which is a nice touch. Asterisk Miku. And we have Unspoken Pressure. This is another one of the interesting backups. Choose one of your characters and it gets plus X power till end of turn. X being a thousand multiplied by the number of music characters you have. So potentially quite a big boost there. Uh, Aiko Takamori. Then Feeling Worried Kirari. Like I said, I'm not going to spend a huge amount of time on every card. I'm mostly going to go through to the rares or the interesting cards. So uh, We have Black Fallen Angel Ranko as our rare for the booster. Level 1 costs 0, 4000 power. Two abilities auto when it's placed on stage from your waiting room. If the number of music characters you have is 2 or more, this card gets 2500 power until end of turn. That's interesting. So it's got auto, put this card into your waiting room. At the beginning of your opponent's draw phase, you can pay that cost to choose a card named White Angel Ranko in your waiting room, put it onto the stage position that this card was on, and it gets 2500 power until end of turn. So hopefully we'll see the other side of this combo and we can put the whole picture together. And then the climax we got was everyone's leader. So yeah, but look, we have what I think was the only green card in the set. <coughs> oh, apologies, I've got a bit of a cough going on at the moment. Um, so you've got one of the bonds there with the love like a Minami. Bonds are always cool. Uh, Koemi Shirasaka. We have Rina Tada as our rare. Um, the climax is the result of going all out. So, level 0, cost 0, 1500 power. During your opponent's turn, your other characters in the middle position of the center stage get plus 1000 power. So that's a nice defensive boost. And Brainstorm, pay one, rest two of your characters. Reveal the top four for each climax. Search your deck for up to one music character and put it into your hand. So there's a nice bit of tutoring there. So that's a, I think it's a really nice double R actually. That's a really interesting one. You get a bit of defensive power and tutoring as well. That's uh, there's there's a lot, <laughs> not a lot there not to like. Maybe just the low power a little bit. <laughs> <coughs> So, next up we have Candy Island, Chieri, and then the climax is taking a step forward. So it's level 1, cost of 1. If the number of other music characters you have is 3 or more, it gets plus 1000 power, and on call, put the top card of your deck into your clock. So damage yourself to keep it alive. Now it is a 6000 power level 1, which is good. Um, and it also gets an additional 1000 potentially, so 7000. So it's a very strong, very strong level 1. Hopefully you should only really use that Encore cost maybe once, just to keep it alive, maybe twice, just while you're moving between levels. So, now Kiyomi, we have Decoration Rika, which is our first level 3, and then we got Memories as the Climax. 
So, level 3, cost of 2, 10,000 power. During this card's battle, your opponent cannot play backup, that's nice. When this card's battle opponent becomes reversed, if a card named Let's Go Happy is in your climax area, choose one of your cards in your waiting room and return it to your deck. Shuffle the deck. And then when this card is frontal attacked, look at the top card of your deck and put it on the top of your deck or into your waiting room. That's useful for sort of like filtering through to hitting the climax to hopefully negate your opponent's attack. So that's quite a neat card. Uh, I can see people trying to build decks around that as a big boss. Strixter Rin. Cool vanilla. Um, the number of music characters of his tool list, this card cannot be played from your hand. It's always interesting when you get cards like that, so it's my first Star Cherry. Um, so it can't be played early on, you do have to have a field for it. We have Stamina Drink, so one of the event cards, and another interesting backup. So choose one of the following effects and perform it. Choose one of your music characters to get 3500 power until end of turn. Choose a music character in your waiting room to your hand, or search your deck for up to one card named Energy Drink, which your opponent puts your hand, shuffle the deck, and then put this card into your memory. So, lots of interesting choice there, intrigued. And then we have My First Star Minami as the rare, and the climax was... So, I'm just going to call this over, but it's got the cute little cat face W. Um, <laughs> sorry to anyone who knows what the actual word for that is. So it's level 1, cost of 0, 5,000 power, and when this card is placed on stage in your hand, or by the auto effect of Anastasia, this card gets plus X power until the end of turn, X being 500 multiplied by the number of music characters you have, so could be a nice little boost on there for a level 1 character. So, Yukahori, the sealed grimoire, Akani Hino. Cannot side attack, that's uh, always an interesting downside, because side attack's not utilised you know, huge amounts, but it is, it arguably is a very important thing to learn uh, when and when not to side attack. It's, it's mostly early game, you don't want to be side attacking really, uh, sorry, you want to be side attacking early game, because you don't want to be dealing too much damage to your opponent, because you want to get your levels clocking up so you're powerful, and then swinging in for massive, sort of. Uh, this is what I like about white Schwartz, there's lots of interesting ways you can play it. Decoration Miku, Flying Kiss, Camp with everyone, Mirari. Then we've got a single R, which is Reliable Senior Mika. And then we had Fan Letter as the climax. So it's a level one, cost zero, 4,500 power. And if you have another card named Love's Big Sis Rika, she gets 2,000 power. So nice and simple ability. It's effectively just sort of bonding, if you will. Uh, although that's probably a bad way to put it. Um, with another card. Speaking of bond, we have Bond of New Generation. So the event, level 2, cost of 2, put up the top 3 cards of your deck into your waiting room, then choose up to 1 yellow, 1 red, and 1 blue character in your waiting room, and return them to your hand. That's really cool, but then you have to put this card into your clock, so you take damage for it as a result, so double-edged sword there. Now we have Gentle Big Sis Mika, Time Awakening Ranko. When it becomes reversed in battle, put this card on the bottom of your deck, so it doesn't hit your waiting room, it goes into the deck. Interesting. At Work Producer. My first star, Kaneko. So when it becomes reverse in battle, the battle opponent's level 1 or lower, you may reverse that character, so it's a level 1 reverser. Useful. Love like a Minami. And we have Kirari Morobushi. So, level 3, cool. And then Star was our climax. So level 3, cost of 2 to play, 9,500 power, so she's slightly underpowered for a normal level 3. But during your turn, so there's lots of abilities here, so during your turn of all your characters are music, this card gets 2,000 power, ah, so immediately gaining that power back. Auto, pay 2 stock, when it's placed on stage from hand, you can pay that cost to choose one of your characters to gain the following ability. This ability only activates once per turn, when damage dealt by this card is cancelled, you may deal 1 damage to your opponent, that's always good, the burn effect. And then this ability activates up to 1 time per turn. During the turn that this card was placed on stage from hand, when damaged out by the card is cancelled, you may deal one damage to your opponent. So, not only does she have the effect, she hands it out to someone else as well. So, effectively, you're almost guaranteeing you're going to be damaging your opponent that turn. So, that's cool. That's another one I can see people building around. Um, camp with everyone, Chirari. Sunny Katagawari. Encounter with Rin. Rock Idol Rina. 
When it's placed on the stage from hand, reveal the top card of your deck if the card is not a music card put into your clock. So pretty much the only chance there is maybe if you've got an event or a climax. So that'd just be that'd just be typical luck, wouldn't it? <laughs> I like these ones as well. So this is our lyric trina. If the number of red and blue characters you have is two or more for each colour, this card gets minus one level while in your hand. So it's benefiting you from playing the dual colour deck. So I, li I like it when cards do that because it rewards you for creative deck building. Popular in class Mio. And we have a double R, Mirari Akagi. Uh, the climax was the uh, Tokimeki Escalate. Tokimekai? I'm sorry. So, level zero. Ooh, pardon me, sorry. Level zero costs zero, 1500 power. Auto pay of stock and put the top card of your deck into your clock, so damage yourself. When this card is placed on stage from hand, you can pay that cost to search your deck for a level one or lower character and put it into your hand. So that's a bit of a cost for just a tutor effect, in my opinion. And then auto, when this card attacks, choose one of your characters and it gets plus 500 power until end of turn. Oh, that's not too bad. But I suppose the other side to think of it, yeah, those, I mean, those abilities are pretty good, but the cost on it is a bit high. But then it is only level zero, so you're getting to do it right at the start of the game. So, maybe it is worth it. <laughs> so, Team KBYD Sechiko. Sechiko? Uh, assist all of your music characters in front of this card, get 500 power, which is fairly standard. But then also, Encore, put a character from hand into 18 room. So, even though it's a level 1, it does cost 1 to play. That's a really cool that it grants the auto Encore. Um, and then when you level up, choose one of your characters and it gets plus 1,000 power until end of turn. So again, that's a very corner ability, but it's an interesting one. I'm not going to fault it for that. So yep, let's take over to say. Oh wow, we have an SR, our Lyrics Miku. That's cool. So level 2, cost of 1, 6,500 power. It bonds with our Lyrics Rena, which we saw earlier. And then act, pay 1, put a card named our Lyrics Rena from stage and this card into your memory. To choose a Miku um, Mayakawa in your waiting room and put it on stage. Wow, cool. And put that one separate. Uh, Tsuyoko Hoshi. Then we have high, cool high school girl, Rin. And then our lyrics, Miku. <laughs> Not the Rina, sadly, but it's still another our lyrics. So this one bonds with um, our lyrics, Rina, as well. And then it, you can also do the same ability, which is to uh, put a card named Dialogue Trina from your stage and this card into your memory to get a Miku Mayakawa. So, um, and then we've got the Aspired Stage comics. So, let's just show you the two side by side. Because that's really cool, we've got them in the same pack as well. I'm impressed by that. Um, yeah, that's really cool. Uh, I'm I'm quite happy about that. <laughs> getting the SR and the normal version in the same pack. I mean, getting the SR alone, but then getting them in the same booster. Um, so, yep. So, unspoken pressure. Bad at smiling. Producer. Full of smiles. <laughs> I like that. That's a two for one. Strike. And then we have Cherry Ogata as our double R. Very nice. So, the climax was to, uh, Escalate. So she's level 3, costs 2 to play, 10,000 power. If the number of other red characters you have is 3 or more, it gets 1,000 power. When it's placed on stage from your hand, reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a music character, you may deal 1 damage to your opponent. Nice, extra damage, always, always welcomed. And if you play Happy Times 2 days on your climax area, if this card's on center stage, choose up to 2 of your red characters, and they both get 4,000 power, and they cannot become reversed from your opponent's character's auto effect, so no reverses. That's really neat. I like the um, the damage more than the uh, than the uh, the other effect. Oh, then again, I suppose you're getting the 4,000 power as well, so actually, no. No, it is good. I do like it. Love like Anastasia, Rina Fujimoto... Yuki, relaxation time. Karen, <laughs> energy drink, you saw this referenced earlier. Choose one of your music characters and that character gets the following ability until end of turn. Auto, this ability activates up to one time per turn when it's battle opponent it becomes reverse. If this card is in the middle position of its center stage, you may stand this card. So restanding, that is fantastic. Downside, costs four stock to play. So, Really, really good. Very expensive to play, though. And we have Decoration Miria. 
So Climax is a result of going all out. So this is a level two, cost of one to play, 1500 power with backup. So it backups for 3000, which is quite impressive. But then it also has pay two and put the card into memory. If you have Let's Go Happy on your Climax area, to search your deck for up to one Climax, uh, for up to one card named Decoration Recap and put it onto the stage between this with card was on. That's a really interesting card. There's a lot. There's a lot going on there. You've got the backup and the ability to do the um, switch as well. There's, there's a lot going on there. <laughs> it's another one I imagine that there's a um, a very nice deck list based around that. So mismatch pair, Azuki in pajamas, matching live T-shirts, my first star, Nana Abby, Nana Abe, something, Candy Island, and Zoo. And then we've got the White Angel Renko, so the other half of the one we saw earlier. So let's go happy is our climax. So level one, cost of zero, 5,000 power, and it has change. Put this card into your waiting room, and then at the beginning of the climax phase, you can pay that cost to choose a card named Black Fallen Angel Renko in your waiting room, and put it on the stage position that this card was on. So they're going to keep constantly switching between each other, which is really nice. Pardon me. I like that. That's the kind of deck that I would try and build is something with that sort of change effect. I've, I'm a big fan of the change effects. I'm not sure why, it's just something that appeals to me is, you know, just the ability to change between them. So we have uh, Sachiko Koshimizu. I, I'm really sorry. <laughs> Happy times two days, by the way, for the climax. So level one cost of 17,500 power. This card gets plus one level as continuous. So, useful against reversers. And when this card becomes reversed in battle, put the top card of your deck into your clock and rest this card. So, noting that's not a May, that's a necessary. So, she's a bit of a double-edged sword, um, but she's sticking around. She's staying there. That's a... That's an intriguing one. I wonder, if, for anyone who plays Idolmaster, I wonder if anyone does actually use those in decks, because that's a very interesting one. So we have the green card, uh, Shizuku, Haruna, Rock Idol Rena, full of smiles. Then we have the Love Big Sis Rika, which is part of the bond with reliable senior Mika. Ayari Tatoki, so this is one of the brainstormers. And it allows you to, um, sorry, for each climax revealed you can search for a music character and, uh, into your hand, which is cool. Uh, sorry into your waiting room. Sorry, I'll start again. <laughs> I need the ability, I'm just mucking that up completely. So you do it from music character of each opponent, put it into your hand, then choose a card from your hand and put it into the waiting room. So it's interesting, so it can set up salvages. Um, intriguing one. And we have the opposing blade melody of light as the climax. I'm gonna put that one down because I completely butchered her ability. So my apologies to anyone who's a particular fan of that card. Akane Hino, Sealed Grimoire, Bond of New Generations. Oh, wow. So we have Fan Letter in the Triple R format. So texturing on it's really nice. That's interesting. It's a cool effect on there. So Double Soul Trigger Climax, and when it's placed on Climax, um, choose a yellow card in your waiting room, put it into your stock, and then all characters get plus one a soul. So that's cool. I like that. Let's go in the special pile. Flying Kisminka, my Sakuma. Then we have a single arm, my first star, Rin. And the climax was everyone's leader. So when this card's battle opponent becomes reverse, if a card named taking a step forward is in your climax area, this card gets plus one level and 5,500 power until the end of your opponent's next turn. So it effectively becomes a level two with 10,500 power. Yeah, but it does require a climax combo and your opponent to get reversed to start with. So. But that's, that's quite cool. That's quite nice. The extra level, like I said, it's good against reverses and because it's lasting through to your opponent's turn, good against side attacks as well. So, Gentle Big Sis Mika, Encounter with Rin, Team KBYD, My First Star, Aiko Takamori, Feeling Worried, and then another Double R. Cool. So, we have, oh, we have the normal version. I'll come back to you. So we have the normal version of fan letter there. So you can see the like the pose is still the same sort of scene, but you can see the uh, it is a slightly different. So yeah, that's cool. 
And then back to the double R, sorry. Not to diminish you, I'm sorry. Uh, Kanako Mimura. Level zero, cost zero, 1,000 power. Your other character in the middle position in the center stage gets plus 500 power. And Brainstorm, pay one and rest. Uh, real top four, for each climax revealed, choose one character in waiting room and add it, uh, return it to your hand. So it just salvages. Brainstorm for salvaging. Cool. Uh, the bar goes in that pile. I have to double check, I might have missed some actually. So, Mio in summer clothes, strict stare. Yuko Hori, relaxation time. Taking a step once more, Mio. Um, so this is one that combos with fan letter, so when it attacks, if you have fan letter in a climax area, you can choose one of your other rested characters and return it to your hand. Which is a, an interesting ability. Uh, Kwami Shirasaka. Oh, another double R, Ranko Kanzaki. Uh, the climax, by the way, is the aspired stage. So it's a level 3, cost of 2 to play, 10,000 power. When this is placed on stage from your hand, you may put the top card of your clock into your waiting room, so it heals you. Uh, and when it attacks, if you have Legni, Opposing Blade, Melody of Light, Climax, put the top five cards of your deck into the waiting room and deal X damage to your opponent, X is, uh, and then 2,000 power to the card until end of turn, X is equal to the number of Climax among those cards. So it's a sort of like a increased brainstorm because you do, uh, do the top five. However, they do go to the waiting room. Um, you are milling yourself for five when you do that. But the potential to damage your opponent, you know, totally worth it. So cool, I like that one. I like that one a lot. That's it before I've got a soft spot usually for the blue cards. So that's kind of deck I think I would focus building around change effects in blue. Uh, Decoration Karari, which is on the sisters, and then also when a card name let's go happy is placed on climax, you can put top card of your deck underneath this card as a marker. Markers are really interesting because when you, sadly when they get removed the marker goes, but. You can rest the card and choose one of your characters and get plus X power where X is a thousand multiplied by the number of markers underneath the card. So that's a really interesting assister. Like you can potentially get it a lot more, you know, potentially give out quite a nice power buffs if you keep it around for long enough. Can with everyone Anastasia. It's time to drink. Then we have single R new generation Suzuki. Uh, we are taking a step forward for the climax. So wall of text here, so let's take it. So, level 3, cost of 2, 10,000 power. First ability is when it's placed on stage from hand, draw up to 2 cards, choose a card in your hand and put it into your waiting room. So a little bit of draw, but you have to discard as well. And then auto, pay 3, and then put a music character from your hand into your waiting room as a cost. So when it attacks, if you have brand new Evo Revo generation in your climax, and you have other cards named New Generations Mio and New Generations Rin in your center stage, there's a lot set up here. You may pay that cost to deal three damage to your opponent. If this damage is cancelled, you may put up three cards from the top of your clock into your waiting room. Wow, that's impressive. So, looks it requires a bit of setup, and you've got to pay three stock to do it. But you get to deal three damage to your opponent, which is fantastic. But then, if three damage doesn't stick, you get to heal three instead. That sometimes you might even hope it doesn't hit and your opponent cancels it. So that is very impressive. And for a single R as well, I'm really impressed with that. So, oh, the other green character again. You have a mismatch pair. Asterisk. Outwork producer. My first star. Now Kamea. And we have new generations Mio. So um, then we have brand new Evo Revo generation. So we've got the climax card we need. Um, so, when this, uh, so sorry, she's a level one, cost of zero, four thousand five hundred power. When this card is placed on stage from your hand, this card gets fifteen hundred power until end of turn. And auto rest one of your stud music characters. When this card attacks, if you have brand new Evo Revo generations in your climax, and you have new generations Zuki, and new generations Rin in your center stage, you can pay the cost. And until end of turn, all of your characters cannot become reversed. Wow. And your opponent cannot play event cards and back up from hand. This combo between these is just sounding absolutely phenomenal. Like, your opponent is just not allowed to do anything when you attack in that turn. That's like one massive blowout turn, isn't it? So on to our last one. We have Unspoken Pressure. Time of Awakening Ranko. Camp with everyone cheering. Badat smiling. Nana. 
camp there everyone and our last rare is Mizuki Kawashima and our last climax is Star so she's a level 1, cost of 1, 1500 power, she has backup for 1500 and when you use her backup look at the top card of your deck and put it on the top or bottom so that's nice just setting you up for what you want during the turn um, you know whether or not you want climax on top etc it's just it's just a nice little ability and that one goes there so let's just double check I didn't put any of the doubles in here I don't think I did oh no I did I actually put several my apologies it's also nice to see that the rares um, have a foiling effect on them, the hollow effect on them, because um, previous set they didn't. So I'm quite glad that they're back in this set with them. So yeah. So overall quite happy with the got what we've got. That's two blue, two red, and two yellow double R's. That's very uh, very symmetrical there in terms of what we've pulled. So let's just share those out. And again, they're all... Look, Oh, we do that in order. Three zero three zero three zero. That's uh, I don't know if that's some creepy maths or not. So let's just take a quick look and curious now and see if we got a symmetrical amount on these colours. So one two three four five blue. One two three four five yellow. Uh, and then we got. Or red. Oh, so close. So, so close. However, we did get these as well. So, if we include those in, then we got one more yellow. But again, almost very symmetrical in the colours as well. So, quite happy to pull these two actually. And they go together. So, they, yeah, obviously, um, not a climax combo together, but they do go together. The characters fit. So, so there we go. That is everything from my. Um, Idol Master Cinderella Girls box. It's weird not seeing that third green colour. Um, only having the three colours is weird and just that one off green. Um, it almost seems weird that she's even in there. I'm sure someone can explain. I'm sure there's EBs or another set that works with it, so that's fine, but as far as I'm aware, I don't know anything, so. But yeah, so overall, I'm quite happy with what I pulled. There's enough there to start the ideas of building decks. Um, Especially that new generations combo. That's definitely what I think I'd aim at building. Um, it'd be cool to do a changes effect one um, with the blue and stuff, but I didn't really see many changes in there, so I think it'd go for the new generations. Yeah, so there we go. I mean, if you're a fan of the Idol Master, I'm sure you're already going to look into picking this up anyway. There's some really interesting combos in there and some really cool little interactions. So, yeah, I mean, if, if you had any Omingas and Herrings, definitely go for this set it looks like it can be a lot of fun to play so yeah so there we go that is everything from my booster box so remember everything you've seen here today can be bought and sold on our website as individual cards bigorbitcards.co.uk uh, i hope you've enjoyed watching remember to like and subscribe check it out check out my other videos i've also unboxed the three trial decks for the idol master cinderella girls because they did one one for each color so that's cool a bit unique and also to unbox the Meister set, so if you're curious what's in there, go take a look. So, that's everything from me. I hope you've enjoyed watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.